Hello and welcome to Cards by Kendra. I'm super excited to be a part of the Thinking of You giveaway video hop today, sponsored by Cracker Box and Suzy Stamps. We are sharing craft projects with a Thinking of You theme using products from our sponsor. The giveaway is for a $25 gift certificate that they have generously donated to use on their online shop at rubberartstamps.com. This is open in the United States and internationally. More details on how to enter and the next creator on the hop are listed in the description box below. To be entered for the prize, viewers must comment on each video in the hop. For my project, I picked out this baby group stamp with the Thinking of You sentiment, the Thought Bubble stamp, and the I Am Groot stamp. I'm a big Guardians of the Galaxy fan and I wanted to make a masculine Thinking of You card. I also purchased this cool monster truck stamp to make some boy birthday cards later on. So let's get started. I'm using my Misty stamping platform and I've placed a piece of 80 pound Nina Solar White cardstock that's been trimmed down to four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And I'm using the Baby Groot stamp and the Thought Bubble stamp first. I'm going to be ink blending on the background, so I want to stamp this out first and then mask it off. I will be using the other two stamps after I finish the background. Since I'm masking it off, I'm stamping this out with Ranger Archival Jet Black ink and then coating it with clear embossing powder so that when I take the masking paper off, it will come off more easily. I ran the anti-static powder bag across the surface first and then inked up my stamp and stamped it several times to make sure I had a good impression. When you're heat embossing with this ink, you have to apply the clear embossing powder pretty quick while the ink is still wet. Now I'm applying my heat tool, making sure to heat the front and the back of the cardstock to help prevent warping. Now I've cut down a piece of masking paper and stamped this out again. And then I ran it through my brother's scan and cut machine to cut it out. The right arm on this mask didn't really cut out like it was supposed to because it's super thin and sometimes it does that on my machine. Also on the thought bubble there was a little section that I had to cut with my scissors and I wasn't really going to bother with the little circles because they were just too tiny. I tried to get them off there and it just was too much trouble. So I decided to use some Nuvo Crystal Drops in Morning Dew which are clear, and that way it'll keep the little dots white while I'm working on the background. So I let that completely dry before starting on the galaxy background. And because that right hand didn't get masked, I had to go ahead and color in the little heart using a red Copic marker, or at least I was gonna try to keep it red. Um, so here it, I'm using Distress Oxide inks in several different colors. I started with Squeeze Lemonade, and I'm just placing the colors kind of all over the place using my Dome Foam applicator. Next, I used Twisted Citron, which was really, really wet and saturated, so I had to dab off the excess ink on my glass mat several times. And then I added Blueprint Sketch. This one was also really saturated. Next, I used Seedless Preserves and then Festive Berries. I had to make sure I was really careful around the masking paper. And I know this kind of looks like a hot mess right now, but I promise it will get better once I apply the darker color on top. When I was done with all the colors, I spritzed this with some water and then patted it dry with a paper towel. Next, I started out applying some black soot Distress Oxide ink with one of my picket fence brushes. And then I realized that I was getting ink on my fingers and fingerprints were showing up on the background. So I decided to put an address label on my three fingers to help me hold it down. The brush wasn't quite giving me the coverage that I wanted either. So you'll see that I switched over to my foam applicator here in just a bit. Next, I sprayed it again with water but this time I held the nozzle down so that bigger drops would come out of the sprayer. 
and then that way it would kind of soften the black and those colors would come through. For the stars, I've taken a little drop of white acrylic paint and applied it to my acrylic block and then added some water to water it down and then I flicked it on the background using my paintbrush. Now some of the drops were bigger than I wanted them to be, so I ended up trying to dab them off with my paper towel. Um, and then I also added some white linen shimmer spray. Now I didn't spray it, I just took out the applicator and kind of flicked that onto the background too. I got two really big spots in the top left corner, but I'm gonna end up trimming this panel down anyway. But the other bigger spots that I got from the white paint, I plan on covering some of those up with some star embellishment. I applied my heat tool to help it dry, and then after it was completely dry, I removed the masking paper. The reason I like to emboss my images is because it helps the masking paper come off better. I learned my lesson in the past with masking paper. It ripped my cardstock and messed up my image after I had spent all that time and had a really pretty background. It was so sad, but I found that having an embossed image has helped. Also, it makes it easier to color the image and stay within the lines. So moving on to coloring, I started with E55 and I colored all of baby Groot first. And now I'm coming in with E57 to darken up the top of Groot's head. And then I'm going in throughout the body to put shadows in some of the branches. And then I switch back to E55 to blend it. To color the little leaves at the end of his arms, I'm using YG09. And now for the pot, I'm using some warm grays. I started with W7 and then I added W5 and kind of work toward the center. And then I added the lightest shade in the center, which was W2. I'll list all of the Copic marker colors that I'm using in the description box, along with all of the other supplies that I've used to make this card. And there were a couple of places around the edges of the thought bubble that were white. So um, I had to color those in with a black Copic marker also. Now I'm stamping the Thinking of You stamp in the Thought Bubble. I'm using Memento Dewdrop inks in nautical blue and teal zeal colors. I like the shape of these ink pads because I can use a, the little tip and then add different colors of ink to the same stamp. And now I'm trimming my panel down to four by five and a quarter inches. And then I'm gonna place it back in the Misty and add that anti-static powder tool below the pot where I'm gonna be stamping the I Am Groot stamp. And then I'm gonna stamp it with some Versamark ink and apply some embossing powder to that. I'm sorry that I'm a little off camera here. I forgot to zoom back out after my coloring. I'm using Wow Silver Pearl Embossing Powder. And then, of course, I'm going to heat set this. Sorry, it's a little off focus here. <laughs> I'm using a silver foil card base with a craft envelope, and I'm gluing my panel down using some Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive. And now I'm adding the enamel stars. And then I will be finishing this off by adding some quotes around the I am Groot using my white gel pen. Now, if you haven't watched Guardians of the Galaxy, you might not get this card at all. In the movie, all this character can say is I am Groot for everything. So he's trying to say thinking of you. You don't see too many masculine themed thinking of you cards and I think this would be perfect to send to a teenage boy or even an adult that's a Guardians of the Galaxy fan. Anyway, I thought this turned out pretty cool. If you like this card, give me a thumbs up. Also, let me know what you think in the comments below so you can be entered into the giveaway. Again, I want to remind you to check out the other videos in the hop and the links are in the description box below. If you're not already a subscriber, click on that subscribe button. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. 
Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.